Now what I want to do is I want to share with you ways to, on, on a much more profound basis, how to quickly connect with your customer. Um, there are, so let me lay a little groundwork. There are three levels of consciousness, and most of you are already aware of this. We have the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and the super conscious mind, or the unconscious mind. Uh, and all three are connected. The best way I know to, to um, explain this or describe it is if you think of an island, and I did this in some of your stories. If you think of an island for a second, the part of the island that's always visible is the conscious mind. The part of the island that sometimes is visible, sometimes not, you know, because of the tides, is the subconscious mind. And the part of the island that's always submerged is the superconscious mind. Right? But all three are connected. Just like all of us in this room are connected on those three levels of consciousness. Um, it's kind of like Africa being connected to South America. You guys know that they're connected. Most people do. Some people don't because it's under the water. But North America touches Australia. Um, and all of us are connected in the same way on a conscious, sub, and superconscious level. That's part of the reason why I implore you to take a talk track and make it your own. Know it so well and change it so that it's your selling style, personality, vocabulary, within the store's culture, of course. Uh, so that you're not just doing techniques. You're not going from technique to technique, but you're having directed conversations with your customers. Um, because you are connecting with the customer on different levels of consciousness. Does that make sense? Another face-to-face -face truth. 55, 38, 7. 1967, out of UCLA, headed by Professor Albert Moravian. This is a behavioral study that, well, uh, there, there, there are no absolutes in human behavior, folks. Behavioral science is not an absolute science. However, this 55, 38, 7 has been proven over and over again by other behavioral scientists with a variance of less than 2% in the last four and a half decades. So if there is an absolute, this comes pretty doggone close. What they discovered was 55% of what our customers react to or make judgments on are things that they can see. Body language, facial expressions, proximity, the dilation of our pupils, breathing patterns, the amount of blood in the capillaries of our skin, all of these things are communicating to our customers on a sub and super conscious level. 38% of what the customer reacts to or makes judgments on are things that they hear that have emotional triggers. Tone, tempo, volume, cadence, empathy, confidence. And only 7% of what influences our customer is content or the words that we use. A full 93% a full 93% of our communication is done between the lines. That is why it's so important that you find your own voice. That's why it is so important that you focus on authenticity and be genuine. Because on a super and subconscious level, you're saying so much more than out uh, in the conscious level. Now, I need to anchor this for you as well. And, and by that I mean to help, help you remember. Um, I use the S and the, the examples so that you understand that you want to operate out of the other person's perception, their, their world, their realm of perception. 55, 38, 7, I'll help anchor it this way. Complete this statement for me. Action, speak, louder, speak. That's the 55%. That's why the parenting strategy, hey, Junior, do as I say, don't do as I do, that's why that doesn't work. Our kids learn how to live their lives by the way we live ours. Harsh, but true. <laughs> Complete this statement for me. It's not what we say, but how we say it. It's at 38%. Now, ladies in the room, I know that you don't live in kitchens. I get it. As a matter of fact, I do the majority of the cooking in my house. Um, but for the sake of this example, um, <clears throat> that's where, you, where, where she is. Um, we get home from a 12-hour shift, beat to death. We've had our head, uh, our head handed to us three times, twice by customers, once by our manager. We walk into the, our study and drop off our briefcase or whatever y'all do when you get back to your homes, and we hear this god-awful racket coming from the kitchen. 
right? And she's just beating the pots and pans to death. We walk over, walk into the kitchen, and we say, hi, honey, I'm home. What's wrong? And she goes, nothing. <laughs> I say, oh, baby, I can, I can tell something's wrong. What's up? And she goes, didn't I say nothing? Now, what's the 38%? Well, wait, what's the, what's, what's the word saying? What's the 7% saying? What is it saying? That nothing's wrong, right? Yeah. What's the 38 saying? Everything's Something wrong. Well, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> Start drinking early. <laughs> <laughs> and then complete this statement for me. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but talk is cheap. That's the 7%. Look, you guys, you knew it in kindergarten. It was true in the sand lot. It's true out in the car lot. Mm -hmm. Master salespeople yes. are able to communicate <laughs> between the lines.